Let's have a look at our first contestant, who's Karen. I'm Karen Harding, I'm 18 and I'm from Newcastle. I started singing when I was about seven years old. From then on, I kind of got forced by friends and family to sing on the karaoke and stuff. When I was 16, I ended a local talent competition. The prize of winning the competition was a manager and some studio time. I was fortunate enough to beat all the 3,000 applicants that applied and also Joe McEldry who went on to win the X Factor. Now this is my chance to win. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to sing and dance at the same time. I can get my groove on and in a club or something but it's a bit different when somebody else is telling you the moves that you've got to do. Hopefully I don't mess up, I don't trip over or anything like that. Tonight I'm going to be performing a Kylie song and massive boots to fill. Karen's got to give them goosebumps at home because she's got that voice. But I want to make her work. And the audience at home will see straight away whether she worked or not. I'm going to step out on that stage tonight. I'm going to prove that I can sing and I can dance and that I deserve to go to Oslo this year. Starting us off tonight singing, what do I have to do? Let's find out. Please welcome Karen. How did you did you enjoy that at all? Oh, I absolutely loved all of that. Oh, God, great audience amazing. here tonight. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, I, I was a bit all over the place. So just to reiterate, what's going to happen tonight is the six finalists will sing a Pete Waterman a classic. Then Pete will choose his top three. Those three will sing the Eurovision song that Pete Waterman and Mike Stark have composed, and that's when you get voting and decide who's off to Oslo. Obviously, phone lines won't up until much later in the show. I'll let you know what's going on. So, Pete, first up, Karen, what did you think? To a fact, I asked her to step up, you know, tonight, give us a different performance, take the song on. She did that. She did a great job. <laughs> 
He's like the godfather of pop, isn't he? He's quiet and suitable. Ed, Jade, you've been here. You know what they're going through. How do you think she did? I thought you dealt really well with the fact that you won first. I remember doing that the first week and being mm -hmm. terrified. I love your tone. I think you've got a really nice tone. And yeah, I thought you gave a great performance. So well done. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bruno, you got this far and no further. Can, I know. Can Karen, can Karen go further? They didn't use me as much as they should have. <laughs> but let me say one thing. You've got a lovely tone. She's right. There's a bit of a Cleo Lane smokiness in the tone of your voice, especially in the verses. Now, in the choruses, I would have liked a little bit more spanky. You know, what do I have to do? Just in, some, in case you go on. To, to remember and think about it. You know, the verse is fabulous. The chorus is a little bit more poppy, a little bit more edge to it. Otherwise, great. Well, thank you for the vocal signing, Bruno. And Karen, you're really pleased with that. Ladies and gentlemen,